how to scale your virtual wholesaling real estate business to five plus deals per month, step-by-step. Step. What's up guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to scale to five deals per month plus in virtual wholesaling. Now, this is not gonna be an easy feat. This is not gonna be the simplest thing in the world to do, but I'm telling you right now, if you're ready to learn the exact systems that you have to pay thousands of dollars to learn to scale up to five deals per month, absolutely for free to make over $600,000 per year, do me a big favor and smash that like button and subscribe. Let's get into it. Let's talk exactly how to scale up to five deals per month. Now, if we're gonna scale up to five deals per month in real estate wholesaling, especially when we're doing everything virtually at 10 to $20,000 margins, we know that's gonna be $600,000 to maybe even seven figures per year in real estate wholesaling profits. So if we understand we need to scale up to five deals per month, we cannot do this all by ourselves. The truth is if we're gonna get over five deals per month doing virtual, we're gonna to have to hire some people. Now, you could do five deals per month absolutely by yourself doing everything virtually, but it's just not gonna be worth your time. You're gonna be working 80, 90 hours a week, and it's really not gonna be worth it for you. From my personal experience, it's scaling up, hiring people, scaling your systems out, not going crazy, like not spending hundreds of thousands of dollars per month in overhead and offices and crazy things like that, but spending some money hiring people, especially when you're doing some deals, to really bring it to that six, seven, eight, nine hundred, even a million dollars per year type of business, you're gonna have to spend some money. So you're working five, six, seven, eight hours a week. And this is stuff I'm gonna absolutely share. So, number one, when it comes to scaling a virtual wholesaling operation, we're gonna have to understand first what kind of market we wanna do. When I've seen people that are scaling up to five, six, seven deals per month, they either have two options for their market. Number one, they choose one virtual wholesaling market and they put their roots in there and they dominate that market. The truth is you can do this option or option number two, which is basically just doing multi-market approaches. For example, there's people out here that dominate Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio for real estate wholesaling when they're doing it virtually. And that's what they like. They like to keep to one state and do three separate markets. Some people might want to do it in Nashville and Tennessee do a market in Alabama, and then maybe throw in like Washington state in there. Really it's up to you which market you want to do. Remember at freewholesaling.com, I'd break down my top 25 virtual markets. If you do any of those, you're going to be fine. But quick secret, if you find a market with under a $250,000 ARV with a decent population, 20, 30,000 plus, you're probably going to be fine. Next year, we kind of break down the marketing systems, especially when it comes to scaling an operation. And there's honestly two types of lists you should be going after paid list and free lists. My top free list, everyone's hear me preaching it. Even if you're making millions of dollars in real estate wholesaling, this is definitely the option for you, especially when you're doing virtual wholesaling. These are government lists. So these are gonna be your water shutoffs, your fire damage properties, your code violations, your tax liens, your pre-foreclosures, your probates. I'm telling you, you're going after these types of lists. Even though you have money, I'm gonna teach you exactly who to hire to pull these lists for you. They're gonna do absolute killer for you. They're absolutely amazing. Next, if you're gonna pay for some lists, again, if you're trying to scale up to five, six, seven, eight deals per month, you're probably gonna have to pay for the data. Now, I'm giving you this information for free. The information should be free, but sometimes you gotta pay for the data. So for example, where do I prefer my paid list? Either use listrei.com or zackdata.com. You get free trials for both. Check which one you like and go with that one. This is when you start pulling like the high equity leads filtered in with like some vacants, absentee owners, tired landlords, and one of my favorites, pre-probates. Going after paid lists like that are absolutely going to be amazing. So if you mix high equity with any motivating factor you can get on like listrei.com, it's going to do really well. My personal favorite is basically vacants with high equity and tired landlords. They work really well for me. Next, we kind of get into the virtual wholesaling marketing channels. In my humble opinion, I found three marketing channels to be the best for wholesaling virtually. And this is my bread and butter, basically having a VA do the cold calling for you and then have a VA doing the SMS text blasting for you. The third one here, if you have the budget for it, obviously the only type of list that's worth anything with direct mail when you're doing anything virtually. Now, if you're in person, direct mail is great. Mailingmastery.com teaches you exactly how to do direct mail in your local market. But if you're doing virtual wholesaling, direct mail is probably not your best option. But the third one that I absolutely love right now is mailing your probates. Again, sound like a broken record, but if you go to freewholesaling.com, we have a free probate letter template you can do to actually mail probates out there. It's absolutely one of the killer ones just because you can't really can't text probates. I think you'd prefer doing the mailing on it. It'll probably cost you a stamp to go and just send a letter out and they work really well. So go to freewholesaling.com and learn that. 
But if you want to learn exactly how to do the cold call and the SMS the right way, freeholsting.com has you covered there. My scaling systems, everything's in there. Quick bonus, guys, like ding, 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 ding. Like this is the stuff no one really talks about in wholesaling real estate, especially with virtual wholesaling because every coach, guru, influencer type person who does virtual wholesaling, they don't do this business for real anymore and they actually don't know what works, guys. They don't understand 2022. Like they don't know how the real wholesaling works. I'm telling you right now, let me tell you something that the top virtual wholesalers around the country use that really isn't talked about on YouTube. And this is something I've been using. This is something I'm preaching. This is going to be one of the biggest marketing bonuses for virtual wholesaling, one of the biggest tactics for success for virtual wholesaling. You could just do this for free too. Like this is something really huge. I do this on my thousand dollar virtual wholesaling upcharge, but this is people drawing for dollars virtually. No, this isn't going on the computer, doing the VA, looking on the Google Maps for drawing for dollars. I'm talking about virtual drawing for dollars. You're having drawing for dollars in your business and you're not even there and someone else is doing it for free. Like how can I find someone to drive for dollars for free? And the thing is you can pay someone to drive for dollars for you. So let's say, for example, I'm in Florida here. I'm doing the Las Vegas market. How do I get someone to drive for dollars? Because drive for dollars is one of the best lists to be pulling. I can find a new wholesaler in Las Vegas. They're scared to cold call. They're scared to close the seller. They don't know how to do that, but they have a drive. They're young and they got a car, right? What you can do if you go to like Facebook groups and find new wholesalers in that virtual market, you're quote unquote dominating. If you can create a JV proposition where this new wholesaler will go find a hundred drive for dollars leads per month, they get a hundred per month. That should be about 400 to 500 a month, you should be able to close at least one deal for that of like 10, 15,000. You split the deal 50, 50, where that new wholesaler gets some money. You have drying for dollars, people drying for dollars for you. Cause let's face it, you can't have a VA do it for you. You could probably get an extra one to two deals per month just with this strategy. I got people all over the country doing this. It's absolutely killer. I'm telling you, you have people literally giving you free leads in your hand. Of course you got to pay 50% of that to somebody. But remember those are drying for dollars leads. Those are deals you have never gotten at all. All. It's a huge advantage. I'm telling you, if you can get three or four of these in one market, you can do an extra four deals per month. And remember, you find these people from Facebook groups. Absolutely amazing, guys. Go after it and start finding people that you can collaborate with and do some deals. Next here is the acquisitions portion. You could probably do the acquisitions yourself if you have a VA doing the marketing for you and have someone doing the dispo. If you're actually looking to scale up and really get a big operation going, you should hire someone to do the acquisitions for you. My personal recommendation is at least make at least 200 to 250000 thousand dollars in profit per year in virtual wholesaling before you hire an acquisitions person just so it's worth it for you my personal recommendation you either find them local in that virtual market or you do it in person or local in-house but first what you're doing so if you're doing the one local approach where like you're going to ohio and you live in florida find someone in ohio to do it for you but probably like if you're going to do multiple markets just have it in-house with you over the phone and they can do what basically you're doing the two best ways to find them either just through your own personal network on social media find somebody new in a sales role that actually wants to make some money. That's a great way to recruit and find people do acquisitions for you. Bartenders I found do well. Used car salesmen are really good. But like if you have to, you can do like an indeed job posting and find someone like that or like ex realtors. This brings us back here to the cash buyer and dispo side, the dispositions, basically selling your deal. Once you start hitting like half a million consistently, you should probably look and get into dispositions manager. And this is somebody you don't have to pay like a crazy amount, but this is usually a realtor or a realtor that's really new. And they basically build cash buyers for you, coordinate the closings for you. Now I know people have transaction coordinator really at five deals per month once you hit like 15 20 maybe get a transaction coordinator you can really have the dispositions person do it for you and have them sell to the buyer vet the buyers do all that work for you so in total you should have a system of vas doing your cold calling sms text blasting doing your list pulling have an acquisitions agent and a dispositions agent when it comes to running a seven figure virtual wholesaling operation what i want to do now is you kind of understand the blueprint here if you want to learn exactly how much i pay these people percentages everything like that again it is in my virtual wholesaling systems guide in freewholesaling.com. Now let's break down right now your first five hires for virtual wholesaling you need to be doing. So let's talk it out from one to five on the importance of first to last of the list you need to be hiring. I would say number one, your first hire for virtual wholesaling should be a VA to do your cold calling for you. Remember, this is in range of importance. So the number one thing you can just shove off to a VA to do a lower level task because your highest task is running the business, right? So the number one here is going to have a VA doing the cold calling for you. Next here will be a VA doing the list pulling for you, pulling the probates, code violations, water shutoffs, the liens, and the probates for you online, the clerk of the court, the public records, have them start doing that 
organizing the data for you so it's ready to be in a text blasting format or something like that. That's probably where it's best spent for number two here for list polling. Now, I still prefer you do the list polling on like listrei.com or zackdata.com, but really you can have a VA do the other government list type stuff. Number three here is a VA do your SMS text blasting to answering the SMS text blast. If you're doing consistent deals in SMS, then you can hire somebody. But if you're not, or you're doing like one to two a month, you can pretty much do it yourself. It's really not that complicated. Number four, that is acquisitions person. That is the second to last hire. And the last hire should be your dispositions person. This is the perfect system to scale up to five plus deals per month in wholesaling real estate virtually. I have found in virtual wholesaling, it really comes down to having a nice streamlined process. Think about it as a conveyor belt system from left to right, making the whole process go. Virtual wholesaling really has three main systems you really need to be focusing on marketing, acquisitions, and disposition. Once you kind of have a machine going of employees doing that, you can really start scaling things up. I find most people fail in virtual wholesaling, especially when it comes to scaling an operation, either from two things. Number one, they're not consistently pulling leads and consistently marketing the sellers and consistently doing follow-up. Guys, consistent action is going to be the number one reason why people fail. And number two, this is pretty shocking, but a lot of people just can't get out of their own way. What I mean by this is a lot of people just want to do everything themselves. They don't want to pay a person at all. And you really got to change your mindset. The one thing you have to ask yourself really is, would you rather have 50% of a $3 million pie or 100% of a $500,000 pie? And really when you're scaling up, you can have quite the arbitrage where you're spending $100,000 for employees, but you're you're getting like a million dollars in output from them. And this is really where I found out with scaling of why I start hiring people, right? Now, some hiring is not worth it. I've seen people hire like 50 cold callers. They try to go huge and big and they crash and burn. You don't have this huge office of like $7,000 per month, have all these crazy VAs, a cold calling center, like 50 acquisitions people and think you're going to be all this crazy, huge thing. I'm telling you, when it comes to scaling a virtual wholesaling operation, you really got to start simple. Start small. This is number one thing I can tell you. Like if you were doing one deal per month in virtual wholesaling, don't feel like you have to get five within a month. Start slow. Start going from one deal per year to start focusing on getting the next goal, which is kind of smaller of doing one deal per month consistently then two deals per month, then three, four, five, and then scale it up to a hundred deals per month. It doesn't matter. The truth is it is up to you of what you're going to do in your success for virtual wholesaling. I'm telling you right now, starting slow and start building up your processes is going to help you so much. The last thing I can give to you right now is do not hire anybody unless you make at minimum a hundred thousand dollars per year in virtual wholesaling. I get a lot of flack for this, but this is the absolute truth. If you have not mastered the three keys of virtual wholesaling real estate, acquisitions, marketing, and dispositions. How are you going to teach somebody how to do that? So if you're not good at cold calling or you haven't had the experience cold calling, how are you going to teach your systems for cold calling in your specific virtual wholesaling market to that VA? How are you going to teach SMS text blasting you've never done it before? How are you going to teach acquisitions and closing deals? And lastly, disposition. The truth is you might have a rock star VA that's doing the cold calling for you, but what happens if they quit and you got to hire a new person? That's something no one really talks about when they sell you that crazy, nice, sexy course. But a lot of these employees are going to quit. You're going to have to fire them. You're going to have to get a new one. Just just understand that these VAs don't last forever. There's nothing passive when running a huge virtual wholesaling operation or even a virtual wholesaling operation doing three, four, five deals per month. You're going to have to consistently be on your employees. And remember, create a system in place. I recommend the book Traction from Gina Wickman. It's an amazing book. It's definitely a book you should be using and start using that for your implementing your systems. And remember, the complete systems training guide is at freewholesaling.com. Guys, this is Zach Kinn signing out. I really appreciate your support. You've been getting out of the channel. Do me a big favor and smash that like button and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Have a blessed one.